Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve little problem ID 1123, lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves. This problem is based out of binary tree and it has been asked in Meta and Amazon. Also, this question is similar to problem 865 on lead code. So both the problem statements are completely same. So if you if you are done with this, you can submit both problems and it's marked as medium. Let's have a look on the problem statement. In the problem we are given root of a binary tree and what we are have to return is lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves so this is our complete problem statement see finding lowest common ancestor of given two nodes a and b this is a pretty standard problem in arrays if you have not solved it yet go check it out and uh, try to submit it okay what what else this is just definition of uh, what is a leaf what is the depth of the binary tree and what is lowest common ancestor so i'll just explain it to you while solving the problem statement in the constraint what they are saying all the problem all the nodes are unique node value will go till 1000 and nodes number of nodes will also be in this range 1 to 1000 this is the second problem problem 865 smallest subtree smallest subtree such that it contains all the deepest nodes is the same thing this is the same thing, finding the lowest common ancest ancestor LCA of the deepest node leaves. Okay, now let's come to the problem statement. Here, this is the binary tree given to us. And here what we have to return is lowest common ancestor of leaf, leaf node with maximum depth. lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves okay here in this problem what are the leaf nodes one two three four five and what are the leaves on the deep deepest level only these two what is the least common ancestor of these two leaf le these two leaf nodes see in this case two five and three these are their ancestors two is the parent parent of parent parent of parent of parent these three are the ancestors and here among these three ancestors what is the deepest one deepest one is two so from this problem statement we have to return two now this is our complete problem statement and you just have to return the root of two i hope you understood the problem statement then finding the lowest common ancestor of leaves on the lowest level in this case we are not given specific number of nodes we are, they are they just want us to find the root such that all the leaf nodes on the lowest lowest level will be the part of this subtree subtree starting with two okay so here just try to analyze how we can solve this problem statement see let me uh, give you a situation let's say there is one problem one node here with value 11 in this case what is the lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves that would be 3 why because 7 4 11 we have three leaves now and both of these these three leaves share a common ancestor which is 3 why 3 because one node is on the right side of the tree and one node is on the left side of the tree but if i remove 11 let me remove 11 now if i as soon as i remove 11 what happened the the answer shift from 3 to 2 from 3 it shift shift to 2 why because all the deepest leaves are on the left subtree now all the deepest tree uh, deepest uh, leaves are on the left subtree still in this problem 5 is not the answer the answer is 2 let's do the similar kind of situation here if add this I 
add a node 11. In this case, 5 will become the answer. Why? Because there is at least one deepest leaf on the left side, at least one deepest leaf on the right side. This is the left subtree, right subtree. And the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree is same. Which means one of the leaf, deepest leaf will be on the left side, at least one of the leaf on the right side. So in this case, I will just return 5. In the previous case, I was returning 3. Now if I, if you just uh, skip the 11 part, in this case, what node I should, I should return? I am returning 2. Why? Because the left, left subtree height is equal to right subtree height. This equation shows that uh, at least one deepest node is on the left side of the tree, at least one deepest node is on the right, sub right part of the subtree. So whatever is the left and the right part, the root is always the common one, common part. So this equation, this, so this property that the root is common among the left part and the right part will we'll be using in while solving the problem statement and we'll be considering root if the left subtree height is equal to the right subtree height but if it is not the case let's say uh, for 3 the left subtree height is equal to 3 and the right subtree height is equal to 2 both are not same it means that whatever is the deepest subtree I'll be, I'll be searching that so in this case Go to the left part, right? Otherwise, j just hit in the root, okay? So what the idea that I'm getting is that whatever the solution function I have to write with the root and then uh, tree node is something I have to return. Le what is our edge case? If let's say given root is null or in this case, uh, I'm just going to the left part of the any left part of any leaf let's say going to the, this left part in this case if it is null just return null, null root is equal to equal to null if root is null return root or return null otherwise what we are going to do is we will be going to capture these two property left height and the right height Let's say height is another utility function root dot left height root dot now we have left height and right height if both the heights are same it means whatever is the current root that is going to be my answer return root otherwise I need to make a nested call nested call of solution function if left height is greater than right height then what I have to return is solution of root dot left it means solution will definitely be lying on the left part otherwise return solution of right dot right otherwise go to the right, right side now if i just directly show you this is my base case if the root is null otherwise calculate the left height calculate the right height how can how i can calculate the height we'll write a function for that if both the heights are same if both the heights are same it means that root is the common part least common ancestor and if they are having the same height it means at least one deepest leaf will be on the left side or right side otherwise if left height is greater it means deepest leaf will only lie on the left part otherwise deepest leaf will only lie on the right part simple so this is something we have to do and what is this height function see height function is the height of the tree tree uh, we are taking parameter as root what is this height if the uh, Firstly, let's take care of the uh, corner case, edge case. If root is equal to equal to null. If root is null, 
height is zero. Otherwise, what is the height? Whatever is the maximum height from the left part or the right part, height of left, height of right. Whatever portion is taller, having a like a larger height or larger depth, take that plus one. So this is something I have to return. This is my height function. So in this case, if I just take the same example, uh, take me, let me take copy and paste. In this case, what is the height of the tree with a root equal to three? Whatever is the maximum height for the left subtree, the height is two. For the right subtree, the height is one. Number of edges. Just count the number of edges. One, two. Here is this one. So whatever is the maximum, two or one, just take that. Maximum value is two plus one. Why one? Because this edge we are including, and this is the height. So three is the height of the deepest leaf. Okay. Now what is the time and space complexity? Time complexity is C. Solution function. Solution function will be going like uh, it is firstly calculating the height of the left subtree, height of the right subtree. It means it is calculating the height of the whole tree uh, and calculating the height will go till order of n time. And once we have calculated the height, then we are comparing the value and skipping one part, skipping either the right part or the left part. So that complexity is log of n. So in total, this approach is going order of log n into n. But here in this case, it uh, this n will not always be the n because firstly we are calculating the height with the root and then we are calculating height with the root dot left or root dot right so it will be let's say half every time so in total i think it should be going around order of n order of n time complexity but yeah we can do better by skipping the height sub call or height utility function by just returning two parameters out of our solution call but don't worry about that we'll just do like this and after that you can check the lowest common ancestor of any two nodes you'll get the idea now let's code this approach first of all uh, lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves if the root is null if the root is null what we can return we have to return null Otherwise, I will be cal calculating left height and the right height. How can I calculate the height? Left height, I will be calculating root dot left. And the right height, I will be cal calculating root dot right. See, now we have to decide. If both the heights are same, it means the, the deepest leaves are distributed among left and the right side. If it is distributed among left and right side, there is no other option than the root. Because root is the nearest one nearest ancestor if left height is equal to equal to right height then return root if left height it is height is greater than the left right height then call the same function calling the same function but in this case root is of no use right subtree is of no use only the left subtree will give me the answer so root dot left otherwise root dot right and we have only three possibility either the root is the answer or answer is on left left side answer is on the right side so we have to return from here return this this so now my program is done and what is this height and now we have to write the height function height function is going to give me the height of uh, height of whatever root we are passing private int height and it is going to take parameter as a root what is the edge case here if root is equal to equal to null any pa any left or right subtree of any leaf in that case the height is zero 
otherwise what is the height uh, if the root is not null then definitely root should be considered plus any of the left subtree or right subtree if i am considering left subtree then i will be taking the height of the left subtree so math dot max whatever is the value of let's say height of root dot left or height of root dot right so if the root is null zero otherwise consider root and whatever is the bigger uh, largest subtree bigger subtree just take that now let me take test over sample test cases sample test cases are passed i'm submitting the problem it's submitted successfully and 100 percent faster i hope you understood the approach thank you guys bye bye in case you want to explore better or if you just have a look on the editorial this problem is something uh, they are just doing it in a single iter single traversal so if you are okay with that if you are able to understand that just go you go with that otherwise just to keep it simple this is a good solution thank you guys bye bye